This is my 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse GS-T. <laughs> I've owned this car for about 12 years. Yeah, about 12 years. It basically all started when my dad actually got this car from a neighbor and I ended up watching the Fast and the Furious era, the first one, and I noticed that the main character or main car in that you know movie is uh, an Eclipse. I'm like, oh, like my dad has that car. Around that time, it was a Ricer era. <laughs> my dad had a little bit of knowledge of how to work on a car, so he would help me work or do maintenance on this car. The whole Need for Speed came out, and I noticed that the Eclipse was in it too. So I was like, oh my gosh! Like during my high school year is when my dad would let me drive the car to school whenever he was uh, home from work and mind you the car wasn't OEM back then but it had a wing on it that my dad put on I had a front bumper that my dad put on that was the era that time <laughs> until I started going to car meets races in LA I had a lot of judgment from a lot of people for how the car looked that's when it just changed my visual on just going OEM a coincidence it's a 95 and I'm born 95 so my dad was like you, you need this car like this is your car so then I, I started pursuing the the just building this car ever since the day that I graduated that my dad gave me the car I went to UTI Universal Technical Institute in Rancho Cucamonga it started doing the BMW training for like four months that I did it and graduated but of course you know I I couldn't go into any dealership because I had a heavy foot at the time. <laughs> the car was green. I wanted to just doodle the whole car if I can. So then uh, one day at school when I was at UTI, on my break time, I just got a Sharpie and I started doodling my fender. It took a long time. A lot of uh, breaks, finished the whole fender, and I was like, I'm over this, like this is too much. <laughs> Throughout some time, it started fading, and I'm like, damn, like this is, this is not good if I doodle the whole card and it's gonna get faded. And then I was gonna go meet up with Miguel and the, and the homie Josh. Just unfortunately, like I ended up rear ending the car in the freeway and just smashed the front end of the car. And I was like, oh man, like this, this can't be true. Like this really just happened. Got the car home, towed home. It was gonna get impounded cause it was on the side of the freeway. But luckily I had a friend uh, who did towing and actually towed my car out of the freeway. I looked at what was wrong with it and for some luck like it was only the front bar that connects the bumper to it that was just smashed in. Went to the junkyard, got myself another bar for the front, skeletonized it in there, Frankenstein it. Then we ended up going to Mod and at Mod uh, I got a lot of good feedback on it and it, the car looked awesome and I thought it looked great. But I feel like it still needed a little bit more. I'm like, I needed the car to be one color instead of just plastic dip and green. I ended up painting the whole car black rattle can. So we ended up doing the whole car in gold Sharpie. And then this time I thought ahead of actually putting some clear coat on it, rattle can clear coat. And then the car looked amazing because then at that time I actually got these wheels to go with it. So it all fit perfectly. And then on top of that, I upgraded to airbags on the car. So now we have a car that's gold Sharpie doodles on these wheels, lowered, slammed on airbags. Like, oh my God, like that was, I was, I thought that was like the greatest accomplishment I've done to the car. And I was like, I have my own place now. I have room to do more stuff to the car. So then I'm like, you know what? Like this was around COVID time and I was like, I want to learn to paint now. Like I want to like paint a car now. So what's the best thing to practice on is on your own stuff. <laughs> so then I'm like, you know what? Like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna paint the uh, Judy the Big Booty. Just sanding the the doodles away. I was like, damn. Like maybe one day, like I'll I'll do this again. <laughs> and then just shooting the color, and I was like, damn. Like this is this is like this is legit. Like this is real. Like this is happening. And yeah. And then that's when uh, the car came became blue and the carbon look amazing on it. So the DSM headquarters, this originated not only just here, but honestly, uh, wherever where me, Monkey and Miguel were always at, it was always all DSMs all together. We ended up making this place the DSM headquarters now because when you come around this block, like you see all these normal cars 
and then you see DSMs, you're like, what? <laughs> the only reason why I lean over more on this 428 platform versus the 4G63, I've had friends that they've had the 4G63 and they go through even more headaches than what a 428 gives you. And I'm like, ah, I really don't want to dip my cookie in that. Might want to do an Evo swap on this one just to get familiarized with the 4G63. Eight pounds of boost is, it's fun. It's a little pull. It gives you that little happy feeling when you boosting at eight pounds and hearing the blow valve. I have a uh, trust on the 428 platform where it'll get me where I wanna be. The 428 platform is a super easy engine to work on if you're a first starter buyer or you wanna get into cars. Cause once you go in the 4G63, you're gonna be stuck on jack stands. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult platform to work on. But then I also wanna go the route of an Evo. Cause that, an Evo is literally like my dream car, like I really don't care about those all, all exotic cars and everything that's out there, but an Evo, an Evo is a dream car. Like it's a four door family car that could be fast. <laughs> so that tells it all. <laughs> okay, so I got a front lip, I got clear white side markers, I got a VIS carbon hood, carbonetics, uh, fender flares, rear diffuser, made by a buddy of mine in Texas. EDM tail lights, centerpiece, side skirt extensions. So as far as interior goes, carbon fiber door panel, carbon fiber uh, pillars, airbag delete, NRG quick release with the sparkle steering wheel on it, two gauges, they're AM, a double din radio, airbag um, switches, because this, this car used to be on bags, harness bar in the back, some crow uh, harness, belts, OEM dash protector cover because I got annoyed from it cracking and of course I can't forget the Miguel DSM air freshener hanging on my mirror. Turbonetics turbo with the star manifold, tail wastegate, turbo smart blow valve with custom intercooler piping, an OBX FMU, I got polyurethane solid mounts, I got an upgraded uh, fuel pump on a Walbro 255 in the back which sounds a really loud. I got Megan coilovers, the easy blue ones, a DC front strut bar. I got upgraded uh, Evo 8 Brimble brakes. That's pretty much it. <laughs> well, this is uh, my 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse and my name is Lazy and see you guys on the next one.